my tools together. It's gonna be a long night. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel. I'm August and um it's been a while since I've uploaded. I took a bit of what I'm calling a mental health break. Um, but I'm here now. So, you know, that that's what that is. I'm here now. So today I thought it would be interesting to flat iron my hair with you guys simply for the fact that I haven't straightened my hair in two years. Well, almost two years. Like October will make two years. Literally since my baby shower, I have not straightened my hair and my daughter is about to be two on Halloween. So it's been just about two years, like roughly two years. So I'm expecting a lot of, you know, really trying ends because I haven't really straightened my hair and like trimmed my ends in two years. I literally just kind of take the scissors and cut through my curls every once in a while but obviously that's not going to be as effective as straightening your hair and clipping your ends so i think i'm going to do that today as well after i straighten my hair so i basically just wanted to bring you guys along on my straightening my hair journey because it's been about two years and yeah let's let's see how this goes also everything that i'm using today is going to be affordable so the way that I would have liked to do this today was to wash my hair and come straight into doing this. But because Ari woke up from her nap after I washed my hair, I was not able to do my hair earlier. So I kind of just let it air dry throughout the day. And that's not like the best way to do it because obviously you like your head sweats throughout the day. You want your hair as clean as possible when you're flat ironing your hair. But I didn't have that option today so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do it because if i don't do it today i'm just never gonna do it like it's literally been two years and i haven't straightened my hair and it's because it takes time so today i just you know what i said forget it it's just gonna go it's gonna be what it's gonna be so here i am but earlier today what i used was the suave suave why did I say suave? So earlier today, I just used the um, Suave Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner and Shampoo, Shampoo and Conditioner in my hair. And I washed it out as best as I could. Oof. So I washed my hair and after I washed it, I put a little conditioner and let it sit for a little bit. And then I rinsed it out like as best as I could, like leaving behind absolutely no product or as close to no product as I could because I like for my hair to have no product in it when I'm um, firing it. Okay, I'm so paranoid because I left my door cracked a little, like my back door cracked a little bit to let the air in because I know I'm gonna get hot. And I just keep, like I keep hearing things and I know it's not nothing there, but y'all not, yeah, I'm just a little paranoid, okay? So basically what I'm about to do now is apply my heat protectant which is the Cantu thermal shield this was recommended to me by my best friend so i'm just gonna spray this in my hair and i don't want to use too much of anything so i'm just gonna rub that in and and i had to actually run to right aid to get this because i didn't have any because i haven't straightened my hair in so long this is the um what is this called renewing argan oil of morocco penetrating oil for all hair types by ogx and this was i think about ten dollars i'm trying to remember how much this cost i think it was like no more than seven dollars i think it was like five or six dollars so this is five or six dollars this was about ten dollars so very affordable i think you can also get this at like anywhere target Rite Aid, CVS, I think you can get that anywhere. So I'm going to take a very little bit of this and run it through my hair like so. So now that I have those two products in my hair, 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab my my hair is shedding already like I felt it just fall down my leg but um I'm gonna go ahead and grab my comb brush brush comb I don't know what to call this and my blow dryer so what I'm gonna do is blow dry my hair and comb through it at the same time I got this little mini bow dryer in my boxy charm. It's by PYT and it's so little and cute. I just love it. And I'm actually not sure how much this costs because I got it in a boxy charm, but it's basically it's a bow dryer. So as long as you got a bow dryer, you're good. You don't need that exact one. So I am just gonna go ahead and do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that like I think I'll do a little bit on camera or I'll speed through it or something because it's it's gonna be loud obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But first I need to comb my hair out. <sighs> Y'all see like when I comb out my curls, that's what you get to see, like my hair is pretty big like it's it's not little so but I'm gonna go ahead and comb through this side now all right so now that I have my curls all combed out I'm gonna go ahead and get my comb brush brush comb I don't know what to call it and my blow dryer and I'm gonna you know, blow dry my hair Switch it up, funds drop low, had to go and pick it up. Rap for wealth, you should hit the liquid up. Switch it up, Bentley to the Rose. Switch it up, Rose to the Rory. Shifting up, bitch, sounded like a Harley. Switch it up, rap don't work, I'ma have to stick them up. Do it no yes, we are all blow dried out. This is what we're working with. So I'm gonna section my hair again in fours because that is just what works for me. And then I'll get to the flat ironing, I guess. I left this side down because obviously this is the side I'm gonna do first. So it don't make no sense to put it in a bun if I'm just gonna flat iron it right. Before I put the flat iron on my head, I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of this um, argan oil. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my first section. Don't have to be perfect or nothing. So I'm just gonna be using this Librex flat iron. I think this flat iron is like $20 and I got it off Amazon, but I don't think it's available on Amazon anymore, but I'll Link it down below if you're interested, but um, it's just a flat iron. It goes up to 450 degrees, which I heard that's really bad for your hair. So I think I'm gonna like turn it down. But you know, the knob on this thing, like it doesn't tell you the numbers in between 355 and 450. So I'm, okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna do what it do because I, I don't know what else to do. So what I'm gonna do is basically use this fine tooth comb and I'm going to follow it with my flat iron like that. I'm gonna do it all around my head. I will fast forward so you guys can see. So I will be timing myself just out of curiosity because I don't know how long it takes me to flat iron my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer now. Switch it up, funds drop low, had to go and pick it up. Rap for wealth, you should hit the lick with us. Switch it up, Billy to the road. Side note, I really doubt that this flat iron is as hot as he says it is because it ain't got no 450. I already know. I'm back with a vengeance, fire still hot. I'm back in the kitchen, water on boil. Fresh out the soil with the game on my shoulders. I can never sack that song that on the name on my shoulders. Yeah, I ain't got it on me, but came with the blur going way on my brain, but I'm sober. I just do my thing off the folders. I just treat the booth like a cocaine boater. Ay, dope game culture. Ay, 
should have made a million off the floater, but fuck it wasn't focused. All that shit different now. Really, I'm the one, and you can tell by how I'm getting down. Engine start, tire marks, and you start to see the distance now. Hey, vivid is the difference now. Don't draw no comparisons, y'all all know I'm arrogant. About as rare as them vintage Susie pieces that I probably never wear again. Switch it up. Funds drop low, had to go and pick it up. Rap for wealth, you should hit the liquid up. <sighs> okay. And we're at 32 minutes. Okay, not bad. Oh, I got a whole nother side. Okay, so I think I lost some footage there, but it's not gonna stop me. Like, something always happens when I'm filming, but it's fine. Complex thoughts like a Rubik's stack money like I'm true. I really love the way that I thought that. Uh, it smells so much. That is so weird, but it smells so good. The range with the flows. Culling and rolls because the range for the hoes. Diamond gold chains in the same for the pros. Okay, I'm finished. It has been exactly one hour and two minutes. So that's actually not bad at all. Usually after I flat iron my hair, I go ahead and wrap it because it just, I don't know, it just does something. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it does something. It just makes it lay even more flat. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap my hair. And I don't even use clips when I wrap my hair. I just... Get it where I need it to be, grab my scarf, you know, use my elbow and whatnot, make sure all of my hair is tucked under there. I'll just go ahead and tie it like these. And yep, I just leave it like this. I usually sleep with my hair like this, like, you know, overnight. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it on for 30 minutes because you still see a, a difference after 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and unwrap my hair. And ooh, look at it fall. So my baby hairs is they're they're just gonna stick up because I need to put something on them, some edge control, something because they have a mind of their own. But outside of my baby hairs, my hair is pretty frizz free. Here we are. My hair actually got really, really, really long. Okay. This is how long my hair is. Let me tie this straight. I definitely need a good trim. I'm all insecure about my back rolls, so please don't mind those. But this is how long my hair is now that it is straight. What I will probably end up doing is edge control on the baby hairs tomorrow because they're definitely just going to be all over the place because that's what baby hairs do but besides that i'm very very happy with how my hair came out it's very silky it's very smooth it's not frizzy it's not poofy and yes you know it's straight so that was the goal I just realized my door was open so hopefully you guys don't have to hear that fan the whole time that I was talking but um what I was saying is once I wash my hair out I will definitely do an update and let you guys know if I got any heat damage which I don't think I will because I took all the necessary steps but you know you never know so I will give you guys an update yeah thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so when I upload my update on my curls, you'll be the first person to know and see if my hair got heat damage, which I don't think it will, but I'll, you know, I'll do the update just so I can show you guys my little process after I wash my hair out and 